Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to my Florida Drive-By. I haven't done one in a while here, and uh, I hope you guys are doing good. Today's October 19th, and uh, it's about 55, let's see, what is it? Oh, another dead animal on the side of the road. Oh, about 83 degrees, and um, it's about 10.43 in the morning. I'm going about uh, 53 miles an hour. Speed limit is, 50, uh, is 70. And see up on top here in front, you have these uh, signs there. See LED signs in the road. They'll say like uh, people will be kidnapped or somebody's looking for a car or you know, notifications and stuff like this. I'm just passing exit 210, which is Sarasota. I'm going to Brady's in Florida. And I hope everybody's doing great. Uh, today's uh, call is... Uh, well, drive-by is about the 5-7, and I'm on the I-75 going southbound, right? Uh, actually, northbound, sorry. Uh, you know, really, you know, you kind of what to get before uh, Crooked Hillary gets in. And uh, hopefully she won't get in, but if she gets in here, we're in deep shit. I'm actually, I sold most of my guns because I had some medical issues. So I'm rebuying one of my guns that I sold, a 5.7 and FDE Flat Dark Earth. Um, I'm not a big fan of the FDE Flat Dark Earth. I like the all black ones. But it is a Mark II and I'm getting some ammo and stuff with it, so it'll be a nice gun. But um, the uh, 5.7, I like the Mark IIs, I like the way they look. And the FDE is not bad looking, you know. it's not, it's not, it, it, it's okay. So I'm going to pick that up. And i um, only getting it because that gun might be gone. So I, I really think, uh, you know, 5.7, PMR 30, AR, AR lowers, uh, MP5s, AKs, high capacity magazines and stuff like that. They're going to, if Hillary gets in, they're going to try their damn just to do all this by executive order, by hook or crook or whatever the hell they have to do. Uh, so, you know, kind of if you can spare the money, it's time to start looking around. Work your ass off, work some extra jobs, and uh, just, you know, buy. If you can get another gun, buy it, man, because, uh, you know, the nice thing about it is if you buy the gun and... If you don't, if the band doesn't go through and you don't want the gun, you can sell the gun. So you might lose a little, but you can sell it at least. Another one, high capacity Glock would be a good one. Uh, yeah, I would say PMR 30 or high capacity Glock. High capacity Glocks are okay, but like I say, it's 17 rounds, 19 rounds, you know. And the PMR 30 is 30, and the uh, you know 57 is 20. With a 30 round extended magazine. But Glocks, you know, you can buy 50, you can buy 100 round drums for them. I understand that. You can even buy drums for 1911s. So you really have to think about what kind of guns, you know, like the revolvers, 1911s, you know, uh, you know, those guns will be around. And uh, probably a few of the semi automatics, but, uh, you know, Glocks, high capacity, uh, Tech 9s. PMRs, uh, those Caltech kits, Caltech 3000 kits, I think they are, where you can put it in, Glock, uh, you know, a lot of those. So those are probably, you know, if they do put a ban, I think that they'll be on the list. Because they'll try to uh, ban imported guns, too. So a lot of those are imported guns, and they will, you know, they'll just ban it, and you won't be able to get it. You'll kind of be screwed all up. So, uh, Definitely uh, an AR probably would be a good idea if you can get one, you know, or just get a lower. If you can just get like uh, one or two lowers, they'll still make parts. You know, if you can get a completely assembled lower, that would be good. Because you, you'll always probably find uppers and barrels. And I think those will be around for a while, even if they didn't ban them. They will ban probably, you know, the lowers and maybe the trigger groups or, you know, some of the components. There's, there's lower kits you can buy all over the internet. The lower probably is a good idea to get if you can get one. But, uh, yeah. And then the 5.7, like, I'm rebuying this because uh, right now 
I've always liked the 5.7. I mean, I liked it. It's a polymer gun, 20, 30 rounds. Nice gun, nice shooting, flat shooting. Uh, easy to take apart. Uh, not much maintenance. I, uh, I have had a problem with a 5.7 in the past. Uh, when I rack the slide back and, uh, you know, I put a magazine in, pull in the slide back, it did not release the slide. And that was a uh, magazine, uh, actually a uh, slide catch issue. There was something with the slide catch that wasn't, uh, the bullet wasn't pushing down on it. And, uh, you know, correctly uh, working. Now they got some construction up here, too. But uh, I hope Precision Marks, Boom Gun Lover, Zeus, I mean, all those guys out there that watch my channel and you know, comment and stuff, I hope they're all going good. I know most of a lot of those guys are fans of Desert Eagles and 500 Magnums and stuff. 5.7's uh, a good, you know, it's, put it this way, just about every single uh, country uses it. In the Navy shooting yard, remember the Navy uh, yard where the 5.7 was used? A lot of people died there. 5.7 is a very effective gun. I wouldn't want to get shot at a bullet moving over 2,000 feet per second. Uh, hitting power uh, sometimes will surpass the 9mm, getting close to 40 Smith & Wesson power because uh, there's a lot of different ammunition out there. You, know, you got Clarkston, you got Elite Ammunition, you got r, &R weapons. r, &R weapons make some really nice looking ammunition. It's not cheap, but it's very well designed and uh, being well designed ammunition it's you know it's quality stuff and they've got a ton and they make more than just 5.7 ammunition uh, you know they make 9 millimeter 45 uh, I don't know if they make something less than 558 but you can go do a Google on r, &R weapons and go to their website I know they sell guns too they sell all different kind of ammunition but uh, subsonic law enforcement uh, Target and stuff like that, and the quality is pretty good. And the kind of equipment they use, their crimping looks really, really nice. So you might want to take a look at their page or Elite Ammunition. They've got to put, you know, more and more they they've, they've been more active in having ammunition out now. But most of the time, it's out of stock. Uh, usually, the prices are about the same. R and R is a little higher, but I think they have pretty good quality. Uh, I'm not going to say it's better than the other guys, but it's different quality. They have a wider uh, select, which is right there, which is wide open, you can buy, uh, you know, because there's a lot of ammunition, especially in the 5.7, they make about uh, five or six different types, and there's 9mm in the other calibers, too. You have to go to their website, to look. Ryan Dahl is the president and CEO out there. Tell him you heard it from uh, my channel, and uh, he can probably give you a discount. But I wanted to bring that up. Uh, thanks a lot, guys, and I hope everybody's doing great. 5.7, uh, you know, uh, why you want to get one now? Well, why do you want to get anything right now with this? I'm telling you, in 30 days, you won't be able to find one. The day she wins, the prices will triple. So really, I might buy two PMRs and put them in a box. Because if I ever get rid of them, I can always sell them. You know, if I ever want to get rid of them, I can always sell them. And I'm just thinking now what would be better. Maybe a Glock 19 with some banana clips, some 33s. Because you could probably get a, a Glock uh, 19 for about the price, same price you could get a PMR. So, and 9 millimeters are pretty effective bullet. Probably a little bit better than the 22 Magnum, you know what I mean? I uh, wouldn't say it's better than a 5.7 because a 5.7 is flat shooting center fire cartridge and it's a rifle bullet actually designed for a handgun. Pretty effective uh, gun. I don't like the new sights they have on the 5.7. I would rather really have combat sights, but you know, we gotta deal with what we get. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day. Uh, thanks for tuning in my video. Thanks for tuning in my drive-by video in Florida. I'm in southern Florida. Beautiful day in the 80s. And uh, today is actually Tuesday. Take it easy.